Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Hollywood Interviews. It's not our typical day, but it doesn't really matter. Today we got a special guest, which is why we're going to intervene. She was supposed to come through uh, a couple weeks ago, but I had some technical issues. So I apologize, but now she's back here on Saturday. So um, we got Mika Ortiz, singer, Hi guys. pro dancer, actress, businesswoman. She got her own, you know, cosmetic selections. As you can see, she's got it on now looking lavish. Um, and she's also starting on the apparel line. And she got a YouTube channel, which we'll be talking about, and it's down below. You can see it here. So go ahead and introduce yourself, Mika. How great is Nick, right? So <laughs> my name is Mika. I am a singer. Um, I'm a business owner from Mulaka Collection. It's a cosmetic line. Um, you guys can check that out at collection.com with the K. Um, I'm also working on my YouTube channel. Um, I have content, music, videos on there, and we're still uploading and trying to create some more content for my YouTube page. So I am a new YouTuber. I'm stepping into the game, learning. Um, I'm also a singer at Mango Trouble Cafe. That's where I first got my foot wet. Um, I'm in a tenor every year, four years in a row. I'm Man, you're a dancer, you got both your feet wet. Both of them are wet. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Um, I'm a senior there for it for four years. Um, we're, we're closed because of COVID. So because of COVID, I've just been working on my business and getting into fitness, keeping my mind right. You know, that's important mm -hmm. during this time, mm -hmm. right? Big time. So that's been my main focus um, during COVID. And hopefully when Mango's open back up, I can bless the stage and do what I love. And, you know, just bring some more shows and entertainment to South Beach, Miami, Florida. So, you, so you're out in Miami right now? I'm in Miami, South Beach right now. It's actually raining right now. Really? Yeah. Seems it seems like it's always raining out there. Raining. It looks, it looks bad outside, but it's like a chill, stay home type of, type of day now. Yeah, it's looking good inside for, for both of us, so that, that's all that mat really matters. So I know you're, you know, you're singing and doing, you know, I'm not going to ask you to drop any notes on this right now, but I guess, so who, who's like your favorite singer? Um, my favorite singer is Robin S, which is, uh, she sings a really popular song called Show Me Love from back in the day. It's like, duh, 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 duh. I love the 90s. Um, I love Beyonce, of course. I love Donna Summer, um, Tina Turner. Um, I love everything from, you know, back in the days, old school. Those are my, that's my favorite era of music, honestly. 70s, Sounds 80s, good. you know. I remember singing at the top of my voice with some of that too, <laughs> whether it was in the shower, in the back seat of the car, or whatever. I mean, I, and then also, you know, I'm, I'm I'm Jamaican, so there was definitely a lot of Caribbean artists that that we used to sing with too. So definitely a huge music fan. What, what part of Jamaica you're from again? Kingston. Kingston. Yeah, you don't know. Come right on, you don't know. <laughs> my mom actually went to his funeral and uh, used top. to see him all the time. Yeah, <laughs> bless up, bless. bless all up. right, so bless up. Come on, real oh. thing. Yeah. Jamaica's it? nice. I've been there. I went for my birthday last year. I went to Negril. I said that right? Negril, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, really beautiful, very peaceful. I loved it. I love the atmosphere, the vibe, the people. It's a vibe. I like it. Well, maybe you can go out to Jamaica and, you know, bless the stage out there too then. Hey. Hey, I, I, I know I can see the blow up is coming soon. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Do you know this artist named Shansia? Shansia, what's she sing? Um, uh, she had that song with Tigger. First thing in the morning when I wake up. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that one, so but blast, 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 blast. you have to send it to me. You don't know that song? Uh uh, you have to send it to me. Okay, well that song is put me on the I, spot. I love that song and I love her as an artist. I love her coming out of Jamaica. Make sure you guys hear her, Shansia. Okay, you know we were talking about the voice earlier. Um, Tessan Chin is from Jamaica. Who? To San Chin, she won on The Voice. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen The Voice like recently. I, I'm, no, I'm it was like, not recent. It was like years ago because oh, really? I don't even watch no more. Yeah. I don't remember her, her face. Oh, All right. But that's a nice, that's a cool show. Yeah. Get yeah. back into watching it. <laughs> oh, so we got, we got, we got a, a, another fellow Jamaican here. Oh, look at that, Nicole Zinkman's Pearson tuning <laughs> Nicole, in to watch. Really, how does the Nick does not know about Shin like, come on. Y'all gonna call me out like that? You're from Jamaica, <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, trust me. It, so, you're yeah. in Miami, so you're, you're literally like right there with everybody just probably, you know, jumping off the plane 
Ready. So I'm literally in Miami Beach. I'm right by the water. Um, I have boats. I can look at the boats in my backyard. I'm, you know, the I love living by the water. Oh it's yeah, like you're like on an island. Yeah, I'm literally on. It's called North Bay Village. It's like a little island, mm -hmm. um, right near Miami Beach. So I'm in the middle of it. But yeah, I love where I'm at because I'm, I have the water. There's no way to live in Miami without the view of the water. That's true. And the trees. So wherever I move, the water and the trees have to come with me. <laughs> That's very true. Okay, so so we know that you're 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 singing, you're dancing, you're you know you got the YouTube channel, um, definitely you know in the limelight. And your goal though is to become an actor. I so. What, uh, I guess, who are your favorite actors and actresses? And I guess, what type of acting do you want to do? Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my foot wet into acting now. Um, I've been working with an acting coach in Atlanta. Um, my main, my my first thing that I would love to get into is horror. I, I kind of told you about that, scary movies. I'm a big person on scary movies. Um, I love drama. Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> um, I love drama. I love, because you know what? I'm such a... A bubbly personality so so when I it's like the drama and the horror gets me out of character it makes me somebody that I'm not I can get okay. serious in a second I can bring drama um, of course uh, I love Tyler Perry movies and I love the plays how he incorporates acting and singing together that's something I would love to get into um, because I can sing and I can put the acting with it um, my favorite actors I would say Jamie Foxx Denzel Washington definitely Santa Bullock mm -hmm. um, I think those are the like Holly Berry, of course. These are like actresses and actors that, you know, whatever movie they're in, it's going to be good. So those are like my people. And I would say from back in the days, back in the days, I'm going to say Judy Garland. If you guys know who Judy Garland is, she... I'm going to have to send you my little Wizard short film. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you my little short film. I got a little short film out there, you know. Oh, you do? Check out Hollywood. You got Halle Berry, but you also got Hollywood. And, you know, this oh, is in the, in the beginning days, you know. I do got a little, we do have a little short movie, but it's like for a promotional film for a party. But either way, you know. I have to but check it out. Definitely. You got, you got your stuff together and I believe in you. So I got to check out. I gotta oh, check out. well, I appreciate it. Well, you know, I believe in you back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I guess, you know, all right. So horror, which I got to see that. Like, I got to see that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's the first thing that comes to my mind that I can think of. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, like a thriller, drama. I don't know. It's like, for me, it's like, if you don't like scary movies, you wouldn't understand. But it's like a game. It's not really Thriller is definitely. It's like they're playing. I don't... I tell the truth. Like, I, I'm, I'm scared of horror movies. You but told me. I do, but I do <laughs> like thrillers. I do like thrillers. So what's like scary? Like, what scary horror you're scared of? Like, I think it's more like the game stuff. Like, I don't mess with the demons. That's 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 mainly it. Like, I'm not gonna be. So you're saying like, um, if you got some like like freaky thing coming out the TV, I'm gonna be like, all right. Like the ring. Yeah, like. Yes, you're not feeling that. Nah, Exorcist and what's that? I walked out on one movie. You want to hear something like funny? Paranormal Activity. Exorcist is one of the only movies that probably get me a little scared, but I'll still watch it. <laughs> See, I, I walked out of uh, Paranormal Activity. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Paranormal Activity is a scary one. I've watched it. Yeah, I would say, you know what? I would have, okay. See, I was sitting in there because and, and I just seen it. Like somebody actually in their house. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I don't need none of these people following me home. So let me just go ahead and get up out of here. But I, nah, but I messed with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All of the horror, mo I mean, not horror, but uh, thrillers. thrillers. Like, I, I love yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the TV series You. I haven't um, seen that fully. On Netflix? You ain't seen You? Not all the way. Like I've seen half of an episode, but I haven't. Oh yeah, you gotta see you. But yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of the different um, thrillers. I definitely I like the thrillers, but the horror films where you know people you know, I just be like, nah, I'm not getting swept under the bed. Something grabbed my leg. I'm just like, nah, I'll pass on it. You don't want to think about that. But nah, I don't even want to think about like. I feel like I get in the car and the next thing you know, I'm getting the chills and I'm like, wait, somebody in here? Like, what's going on? Like so I just like, no. Yeah, so I just, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the thriller. I'd be like, man, I knock this dude head off. But you know, when we start talking about messing with the ghosts and stuff, I'm like, yeah, nah. That's, <laughs> that's me. So I, I, I walk out of that, probably fall asleep, something like that. <laughs> 
Uh, over fear. You can't be scared. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I ain't giving nobody no power. Can't be but I mean, of hey. Anything, not even a movie. No, nah, I, I mean, I ain't gonna say I'm scared, like I'm gonna start crying. You just, but... I, you get paranoid and you start thinking, you don't want to think about all that. Like, you don't want that in your mind. And my brother yeah. was like that. I just be like, yeah, you know what, let me just chill. <laughs> let me chill, let me drive home. Let's see if everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> I don't want to be It'll thinking be... too much, someone's gonna kill me. You brought me in the car. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's not even about like, like that's the thing, like, I can handle a human. But when we start talking about like something else, eating some aloo, what's, what's all that? That's when I, I get a little bit like, yeah, we gotta stand off. But all right, I see. You know, you got the big smile and everything. So I guess I'm assuming that you got to be, um, you know, wearing your product. So I guess well, I know you got a cosmetic line. Can you say one more time what your cosmetic line is? Introduce it to us, and then you know, why did you go into it, and what's what makes it unique? So. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, I was, I'm a singer at Mango Trouble Cafe. I'm always performing, I'm always having a mic, and the CEO of the company always wants us wearing red lipstick. Like, he thinks that's like the look of red lipstick. So, um, what I did, I was like, how cool would it be if I can find a company that has, red lipstick was the first color that I started with, has a great product, and it's long lasting, it's matte, and it stays on all night. So my first thing was finding a company that I can work with and I started working with all these companies sending me samples that I was trying in and then I found one company that I wanted to work with and um, it was just a great product. It stayed on long. I tried it when I was working at work and it just never got on my microphone and I felt like like this was the go-to, like this was the product. Everyone loved it at my job. A lot of entertainers, I was sending it to them and they loved how it stayed on when they were speaking. It doesn't rub off when you're on a date. It doesn't rub off. Um, yeah, well, that's so that's actually important. good for the men then. Hey, hey fellas, buy, make sure you get you some. Yeah, get your girl. This looks like, so um, this is actually one of the products that I have in my hand, if you guys can see. And this is like Sangria. It's a, it's from the anniversary collection of from last year. And it's like a purple color. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it, Nick? Yeah, uh, you got a little bit of a glare on it. Okay, well, made me kind of sorry. But this is one of the products. Okay, I see it right there. Yeah, we started with the red, and then we started um, doing seven more colors. Uh, green. Um, I think I'm separate from other companies because we do a lot of the colors that a lot of companies don't sell, like green, like yellow, blue, greens. And I started adding that on my website, um, and it started working for me. A lot of people felt like they could come to my website and find a color that they can't find at certain stores um and i wanted it to be for showgirls you know people who are doing shows mm -hmm. um that are very creative with makeup so i felt like they needed a lot of different colors to work with so i wanted to bring that to my company um and i also wanted to bring uh, shades and apparel those are all other things that i'm working on once i started with the lipsticks i think it's a good product um I, it's great i always have it i've been talking to you for a while you know, and I, I, you guys have to try it. And that's just, you guys have to try it and check out my website. I, I mean, I won't say that I'm gonna, you know, physically try it, but you know, well, if you it's gonna, really if it's gonna keep, you know, if it's gonna keep the, the, the gloss off the white, then I gotta, you know, I gotta support. You gotta support it. Buy it for your girlfriend, buy it for your sister. I, I really feel like um, this is the only lipstick that I was wearing when I went back to work. Um, and it was my product. It just felt so good that I found something that stayed on all night and I had something to do with it. So I'm really happy for that. And we're just gonna keep growing and I'm just gonna keep adding stuff, you know, to the line and to the website, to the collection and keep growing, see what else I can do. Okay. So I guess, um, do you have any other, I guess, ventures as far as, uh, oh, look at this, buy for your cousin. <laughs> I Thank got you, you I got you. I got you. <laughs> hey, we, well, I mean, hey, I okay. got it. We do, we do have something in store, but I'm not gonna get to it yet. Right. So just hold on real quick. It might, it might be able to come true. So, yeah, hey, man, you might have, mm -hmm. you might have manifested that one. Um, but I, so I guess, do you have any other, I guess, cosmetics that you're thinking about coming out with outside of the, you know, just lips or you know, because if you're yes. in that industry, you're very active. You know all that kind of stuff. I would, uh, I would say the three different products that I work on because you know it takes a, it's a process. You want to, mm -hmm. you want to get the product and see what company you're gonna work with. You want to build a relationship. Um, mm -hmm. You want to see who ships fast, um, and if you like the quality. 
So it takes a, it takes a process of checking different companies and different vendors that you want to work with. So for me, the three different things that I was working trying to get into were soaps, perfumes, and eyeshadow palettes. So eventually, I think I would be bringing like a soap or a lotion and a set. Um, I think uh, probably maybe by Mother's Day, I probably can have it. It'll be like a perfume, it'll be like a soap and a lotion and a set. Um, maybe, I'll probably aim for that for Mother's Day. Oh, ma mascara is a good idea. Thank you. So hold on. Real quick, I don't mean to pause. Is mascara the stuff that's like right mascara here? Mascara is what goes on your eyelashes. And okay, people never put it, mind. People put it, when they have big eyelashes, they still put it on to make sure that it's curvy. My question is though, um, when people look for mascaras, I think sometimes they're looking for colors. So that's a good idea. Thank you, Nicole. That's a good idea to look into because maybe uh, you can get like red mascaras, blue mascaras, purple mascaras. Um, for people that are artistic with makeup and showgirls because I'm, yeah. I'm big on my showgirls. Yeah, y'all can link up. What, well, so what I was gonna say <laughs> is, you know, I don't, I don't know a lot about the makeup world, but um, you know, I know usually when you see movies or you see people, you know, they, they like, you know, women they don't want to cry or sweat or go in the rain because they see the little black stuff is dripping down their face. So you know, when you already have that formula for the for the, um, you know, for the lips. Would there be something that can apply to like the eyes so that people won't have to worry about For that? Sure. Once you go into that mascara business, you would have to see, okay, what is everybody buying? Like she said, try mascara with different colors. I would have to tell them, you know, okay, find different colors and make sure that it's waterproof. And make sure that it's not hard because, you know, sometimes when uh, products are waterproof, it's hard to take off and mm -hmm. rub off. So I would probably make sure that it's easy to come off. It doesn't affect your eye. Doesn't make you cry. Doesn't make you tear. And it's still colorful and still artistic for you to wear. Yeah. So that's an idea I will look into as well. Myself. Yeah, because you, you you know you don't want to be rubbing your whole lip off. Next yeah, and you don't want it to be hard and and yeah, you want it, you still want to keep that soft, you know, nice look on your lashes. Next thing you know, they're just ripping out because it's so hard. Mm -hmm. So I would make sure that it's waterproof, soft, and just not irritating to the eye. Okay. I'm a sensitive girl. A lot of things like I'm easily bruised, um, I break out easily, so I gotta make sure that the product is not is very for sensitive skin, sensitive people. Okay. Well, we do have something in store. Um, she said exactly. Well, hold on. First of all, let me let me let me say this. Where can um, you know where can the people find your product currently? So you can go to www.mulatasmu. L A T A S collection with a K dot com. And you can check it out there. I actually have a promo code, and I'll say the promo code again before we end. Yeah, I was just gonna, uh, yeah, okay. I was just gonna say I we got a promo, promo code, code in for store. Everybody who's watching, um, it's 25% off, and the code is Hollywood21. You can go right now to the website. Yeah. You can buy anything you want. It's for the entire, any product you want on my website, you can use that code until tomorrow. I'll end it tomorrow. Unless Nick tells me to keep it on for a couple of days. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all make sure. Well, I don't know about tomorrow. We go. We gonna have to push this one out here. But right. um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, y'all. Y'all see, y'all done came over here and watched live in the group. Now you are on Hollywood interviews and on Mika O on YouTube. So yes. you know, just because you came and subscribed, now you, now you're, you know, you're getting, um, you know, the discount code, yeah. the coupon code. That, now you get to go out with your with your boyfriend, your husband. You know, you get to go jogging. You get to go and, in the gym. Right. You and go sit can, in a sauna, and and you got you know the makeup working. So and these are actually one of the shades I'm gonna show you right now. Oh, and these, shades. Oh yeah. So I have these shades on MulataCollection.com, and it's twenty five percent off with code Hollywood twenty one. And these are the Atlanta shades. And you guys can get these right now. As a matter of fact, you can get this one right here that I just put on. I'll go and I'll ship it to you. Is that gonna be tomorrow. on the? Is that gonna be on the, the promo code too, right? Yes. Okay. He's like, so you guys can get the twenty five percent off off the shades, and I have apparel as well, and I have a shirt uh, for kids on there that they can paint with their parents. It has my logo on it. It's just like a tea to have fun, and it comes with a set of markers. That twenty five percent code you can use that uh, on that as well. Okay. The entire site, guys. The entire site, just for you. All right, so we're gonna have to do that. And you, and you did say your Instagram, correct? Um, the Instagram is Mulatas Collection on on IG. All right, and, and then to, after this, that. we'll have to put that in the description too. So yes, you can yeah. follow, and and the 
in the link, you'll see the website. You can click the website in the link of the bio of the Lotus Collection as well. And check out the page, follow my page, and write me, let's talk, DM me, I'm friendly, we can talk, I don't care, whatever, all that. (laughs) I I would have to agree. All right. You know, I got my own Mulatas collection on the way, so right. everybody be looking out for me. It's on the way. Uh, you know? <laughs> so y'all the check it out. Or at, least, or at least a shirt, you know? And some shades. I'm going to definitely give me some shades. Yes. So I have those. I have the biggest. Uh, I had these. You know what? Do I have Miami? I had Miami shades, and they were like a brown tan color, and those mm-hmm. sold out, which I'm happy wow. for. Thank God. So, but I still have Atlanta, and I still have Vegas shades. Once those sell out, I'm probably going to bring in another, another type of style. Okay. Well, Nicole, you know, you, I think she's supposed to be doing an interview one of these days because she's trying to come out with a, a clothing line for, for nurses. So she'll come on there with her Mulatas collection. Oh, uh, you know, say that again for Nicole. Yeah, she's supposed to be doing a, a an apparel, a clothing line for nurses. Nice. So, yeah, so when she comes on, then we'll, we'll make sure that she has her Mulatas collection so she's looking, you know, icy. Yeah, and make sure you let me know too. Maybe I can join in and comment and support like she did okay we'll do that all right so we know that you are a businesswoman you're, you're singing dancing like i said we're not gonna ask you to do none of that yet not gonna have you pop lock and drop it or hit us with the nose yet but um you know with that plus you got the the nine to five you got um you know clothing line cosmetic line all these different things that you're, you're dealing with plus you know you have normal life how would you say that you're able to manage all of that? And I mean, I, you know, I personally follow you, uh, your social media and everything like that. You're always remaining positive, still find ways to, to promote all that. But how do you balance, you know, life? Um, and life juggle not, all those different. My things. life is not normal. I don't think it's normal. Um, I think I'm going with the flow. I, 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 I can't even say how do I do it because I don't even know how I do it. Um, you can see, I, mind you, I told you this earlier, you, you may look at me and think that I'm like going, I have the best thing ever, but I've been going through a, a very, very emotional week. Very emotional week. Emotional week. Um, two weeks. I have so many, fa- yeah, you know, it's, it's involving family and it's very hard to try to have family issues and then you're maintaining a business and then you're trying to build just so many things you're trying to do um, and then trying to, ha- and having that in your mindset, it's very, very hard, but, but hold on. Meanwhile, all of this, all I see from you is encouraging everybody else. Yeah, and I, and that's what made me basically do this interview with you. I told myself, well, you know, you're always telling people to keep going, and no matter what, they got to keep going, and they have to stay positive. So I have to preach that to myself now. Oh, so now you're not staying positive because you're emotional and you're going through drama. So what happens when things get worse in your life? So this is kind of preparing me and teaching me that no matter what. I have to get up and prepare my content. No matter what, I have to take pictures. I have to sell because how am I gonna pay my bills? Even mm-hmm. though I'm emotional this week, you know what I mean? So I think I, I came here to do this interview and show people that, yeah, I look like I'm, you know, I'm great and all, but honestly, I've been hurting this week and I'm still here. Keep going because this is part of your journey as a businesswoman. I can't let my business fail. Because I'm emotional. And as a, as a human period, and, and all the things that you've been through before and that your family has been through in the past, it would be a disservice or a disjustice to them for you mm-hmm. to, you know, to fall back because of something else that's going on. Mm-hmm. And and that's the mindset that I am keep telling myself, because trust me, trust me, it pops up in my head and I get stressed or I get that phone call that stresses me out about a family member. And it hurts me, but I have to change my mindset and put myself at a positive state or just clear that and not think about it. And I got to keep going. I got to keep going. It's hard. Even people that knew someone, sorry to even, sorry to even take it there, but you know, mm. it, it may be the most toughest thing in life, right? It can be the most biggest tragedy that you've ever experienced in life. But guess what? You have to keep going. And I hope that I have that same attitude when things get worse for me because it's fake over fear, right? So. We just gotta keep going, and it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, girl. I probably hit end this call hey. and start crying or something. Yeah. I know it's hard, but keep going. I'm yeah, and then and then at the same time too, you know, better, worse, you know, good, bad. It's all a part of your perception too. So if mm-hmm. you're able to, to go through this, realize, you know, you've been through something else before. Um, you know, what's really worse? You know, when I say it, when it rains, it pours, but it pours because when it when it's quote unquote raining. 
everything's kind of uh, enhanced or amplified. So, mm-hmm. you know, it could be, I don't know, it started off your morning and you lost the earring or something like that. Next yeah. thing you know, blah, blah, blah. Happened. All of a sudden, your, your whole life turns into this horrible thing. But really, is it that bad or is that just now your perception? So when you're able to kind of to embrace what you've been through in the past and then uh, appreciate it and realize in the moments of turmoil that come up in the future or in your present, you kind of assess it either, man, I, I'm going through this again or this or blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you can be like, well, you know, I've been through X, Y, Z before mm-hmm. and it made me a better person because of this or that or made me stronger or whatever the case is. Yeah. And now you're able to look at your situation and think, you know what, whatever, I'm going to do this. I'm just mm-hmm. keep on moving. And then, you know, I guess perceive it to be a better um, or or easier. Or maybe it doesn't even phase you anymore. I feel like one of the biggest things that for, for a lot of people in the world is that if you have been through challenging times and you are able to overcome it and reach a goal then now you're on this level and when you run into another problem to everybody looks at you like you're just some kind of hero because it's it doesn't phase you but that's because you you've been you know conditioned and 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 one of my uh trainers told me if you work hard you what if you work hard once you fail you always know how to get back up because you know how to work hard and that is, I always work hard. I always keep my mental, I try to work on my mental state. And when things come at me, it's like a boxing room. Like it's hitting me, but I'm still like trying to stay in there and handle everything that I have to handle. And I think that's what it is. It's like, you're always going to be a punching bag, but you just cannot let that punching bag knock you to the ground. Let it hit you, but don't let it knock you to the ground and just face it. Like you face life. So, so where do you, so where do you get your work ethic from? Is it something that's always been in you, or is it something that developed over time? Um, I think I always, I always had that work ethic of working a lot. I love working a lot, but I think I started working on my discipline when COVID hit. I got real, real mm. focused on discipline. Um, I read this book um, called No Excuses by Brian Tracy. And um, I felt like that book helped me a lot. It made me more focused, it made me more disciplined. Um, I catch myself telling, uh uh-uh, you got, you know, I put my my health first, started working out more, and I was like, all right, you have to get up, you gotta keep doing it, you have to do what people are not doing. Everybody's not waking up early, everybody's not eating right, everybody's not being determined, everybody's not being disciplined. So I need to be the opposite if I wanna succeed. So I started telling myself that and keeping keeping that in my mind and saying, well, uh uh-uh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah. He's not getting up at five in the morning to make sure. If you want different, you got to do different. Right. Exactly. If you know, if you know different, you do different. If you know better, you do better. Right. So. Want extreme? You got to do extreme. Right. (laughs) Yeah, I'm with you. (laughs) Yes, girl. Right. So um, that's that's kind of what I told myself, and I started. I, I even though I read before, I just made it a priority to read constantly. Like constantly, I was running through books constantly. I'm like, let me see how many books I can get out this year. Like I was reading constantly. Um, And of course we have to read, like we have to learn from other people so we don't make those same mistakes. A wise woman learns from the mistakes of others, not her own. So it's like, Mm. you know, you teach me things, I learn from you so I don't have to make that mistake. If you have a business, I wanna take some things from you so I don't have to make that same mistake. Why should I make that same mistake as you if I could learn from you, you know what I mean? So that's what I also don't got to go reinvent with. the wheel. Right. That's a lot of I'm... people, you know, like to, to redo something or try to, you know, you don't got to do all anything different. You know, something works. And why would you go and try to redo it like as if this person didn't already feel with it? Exactly. I say go with, you know, go with what works, then start, you know, experimenting with, with all the other stuff. Right. There's no reason you should fail at the same thing your friend or your business partner failed at. You should be failing at something different because you should mm-hmm. go learn from them, you know? So I try to make that, I try to learn from everybody as much as I can, you know, or just watching YouTube or just reading or, you know, just searching Google. Oh, I want to learn about YouTube now. So I'm probably going to find a book, you know, that can teach me about YouTube and get into that because- I watch YouTube about. to learn about YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Matter of fact, let me ask you this. What's one of the best channels on YouTube out right now? Hollywood, well, Hollywood marketing. Yeah, and, and then we got we got Hollywood Life out here. You know what I mean? We, we we got three of the top YouTube channels out here right now: Hollywood Life, Hollywood Interviews, and Mika O. So go ahead and subscribe to Mika O. Let me let me ask you this then. So with with all of the grinding that you're doing, 
what are the goals that you have for yourself within like the next five years? That question. And, and, and also the, well, not even that then. What's the biggest impacts you feel like you want to make? Uh, mm-hmm. well, I would say five years, but let's not even put a timeline on it. Let's just say when yeah. you leave Earth, what impact do you want to have made to where people can say, oh, you know, something, what would you want them to say about you? Um, I would want them to be, I would want them to say that I was a great servant to other people. I was very loving. Um, I made people feel their best. I uplift people. And I make people feel great when they're around me. And I'm not trying to be cocky. I just want people to feel great when they're around me, you know? I want them to leave my presence feeling their best self. And love. I don't know, just full of love. Full of love. I have no hate in my heart for anyone. I come with peace. Um, I try to be a peacemaker like God would want me to do. (laughs) And... That's, I just want people to remember me about, just remember me as a loving person, fun person, energetic person, and just great to be around. And I, and I would want to help as much people as I can. I think that's our purpose, is to help people. That's why we're here, is to help people. And I'm going to do that until the day that I die. I'm going to be helping people and fulfill my purpose. I think that's part of my purpose. I really do. Because I don't get paid for it. Shoot, but tell me about it. <laughs> Yeah, I think, we, I think we're pretty much on the same page. But, you know, one thing I definitely know is, you know, what you give is what you're going to get. Right. And everyone is you pushed out. So if you're able to push out this positive energy and continue to pour and, you know, like you said, put, you know, give people love, that's what you're going to end up getting back. Sometimes you can feel, I guess, a little overextended. But, you know, I think that sometimes when you when you give, as long as you're not expecting something back, because if you're expecting, that means you're a lack of it. So that means you don't have it. So therefore, if you're giving this, it's because you do have it to give. So therefore, you're going to get it back and then you're going to get it 10 times over, if yeah. not 10,000 times over. Right. So right. keep on keep on going with that. And I guess, you know, that kind of leads me to, you know, I know you're a musician because a lot of, you know, great content on your channel are, are is music and songs. Exactly. And I've been talking about you dropping these notes on us. But um, I guess, do you feel that, let me ask you this. Do you, um, what do you, what do you feel like your music is about? Or what do you try to make your music about, or how do you come up with your music? It's been a uh, it's been a while since I've worked on new music. I just put a, a new song on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get more consistent with putting more new music out because, as we all know, the industry is different, a uh, little shady. Mm-hmm. You have your ups and downs, and I've had my management team, and I've had a team that I was working with, um, and 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 what I dealt with with that team would make you give up. It would make you stop. It would make you be like, well, what? You know, it would make you feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. But things happen for a reason. It's part of your story. You know, it, it makes my story more interesting that that happened, mm-hmm. right? So I have something to talk about. So I started looking at it like that, like, okay, it's like I'm writing a story. The more things that come at me the wrong way, it's like entertaining, it's fun. Okay, next chapter. So I just started looking at it like, it like that. Now, since I don't have, I'm independent, I'm solo, I do want to put that in one of my goals is to keep working on, you know, new music, put some new content out, new videos. That's why I'm trying to grow more subscribers um, and get more views because that's where I'm going to be making that my platform. That's my space. No one can take that from me. So I'll be putting as much content as music as I can behind the scenes or I'm at home just singing. That will go up on my YouTube page. Okay. So I'm still, you know, upgrading that and you know, trying to post more content on my music because I know people want to hear more stuff. So, and I tell you what, it's definitely not easy. And I don't think a lot of people that get into YouTube don't realize how much work goes into it. Not just even editing, but now you're talking about like the search engine optimization, the, I mean, the editing yeah. alone would for somebody out, you know, you know, thumbnails. It's, it's almost like if you wanted to just record something live and then just post it, yeah. But the way it works is not. It's not like that. You need a I mean, even thumbnail. the title is sitting yeah. there. You know, you brainstorming about the title. You're like, man, what in the world? Wait. So definitely got to applaud you. So I guess with with the uh, music and your posting content and your acting career, you know, have you ever thought about like, you know, encompassing like your everything into one, like maybe a thriller, I just- like th- like thriller for Michael Jackson, horror song. Of course, of course. You know, hit him with, mm-hmm. Yeah, 
I was just, I was just thinking, which I can't talk about it. One of the shows that I auditioned for three, like a couple days ago, which I'm hoping that I can get. Um, it's in Atlanta, not whatever, but um, it's thriller too. It's drama too. So it's a, you know I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep seeing what kind of role I can get. But I'm, I am aiming for that. I'm aiming to get in a show or get a scene in a movie. That's what I'm aiming to add on, on my resume. And I'm, I'm sure, I'm very sure I can do it. I know COVID is pushing us back and making it way more harder for ourselves, but what's for you is meant for you. And I believe in that and that's it. Mm -hmm. If it's not this time, it'll be next time or... Yeah, I'm going I, with still, the, I still feel like you already have it. I feel like you already have it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, after this, matter of fact, you might've already got the email during this interview. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> Hey, it is it is what it is. That's that's the way I like to think about stuff. I just think about it as if I already have it. And I don't try to say anything that'll bring any kind of negative thought into my mind about not. Like I said, there's no lack of nothing. If you want to be in that in that role, you already got it. Pretty much. So well you know, what we'll, we'll, we'll be celebrating. When when what when, when do I need to tune in? What's, what day is it coming on? Dude, that's all I that's all I wanna hear. What no. day is it coming? I don't have no idea. I'm actually, um, when I get off the phone with you, I'm actually going to write the message. Um, how's everything going with the casting? You guys are still working on it, right? <laughs> I was asking when you um, start. Like, you know, hey, when do you need me to, you know, pull up? Like, that's basically yeah. all it is. Are you sending me a ticket? Just don't even, don't even ask. Just, are you sending me a ticket or, you know, am I having to find that now? Because I'm just trying to pack my bags. That's all I'm trying right, to Right, right. That's all you need to ask. Don't I don't even know what I'm bringing. But, well, how did you know? I just knew. I mean, obviously, come on now. Right. And that's how you, you know, that's how you're supposed to deal with everything. You're supposed to manifest it like it's already yours. Yeah. Oh, what time I, oh, let me, let me start wearing these clothes because I have a movie scene that I'm going to be shooting next month. 100%. I'm put these clothes here. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? Next thing you know, you see me in a, in a scene. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean. Because of my manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, 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 me and my cousin were just laughing. The other day, and, and you know, I would say nobody's chasing money or nothing like that, but it was just a hilarious thing, just like talking about like what you would do if you were a billionaire, and just literally just hilarious, just making making a joke about it. But I mean, when you really think about it, that's it's not really a joke because you have billionaires out there. Like, how did they get there? They just believe that they could be. That's really all it was. And if you believe that you can't, then you'll never get, you'll never make, you'll never take any action or any steps to get anywhere um, until you believe that you can actually do it. If you, and, every, you know? and every entrepreneur says that. They said you have to just believe that it's yours. You have to have that mindset. They all have that mindset. They yeah. all have that same mindset. Always thinking positive, always manifesting your, your dreams and your goals, like writing down, making sure you're taking notes. I hear that's important. Um, Man, I, so got, I got a bag full of stuff I would just write. Sometimes before, you know, I, I had done been through some things in the past couple of months and I literally would just write stuff down or just, you know, kind of just sit there and then it, it just came to a point where you're just focusing your energy. And even this this channel here that we're talking on, never would have thought it would be this big, never thought nothing, but, you know, it had like an epiphany and just sat there and was like, man, I should do it. But the biggest step that I had to take was just do it and then yeah. believing that it's possible. Just do and it. There, you know, any kind of negative thought that could possibly come in, I just block it out. It's not even real to me. So there's no, and like I said, I believe, I believe you definitely going somewhere. And when they, when these people hear you drop these notes, they're gonna be like, dang, where do I find her CD at? You know, <laughs> where do I find the, the MP3? Hold on, burn. You know, you know what I'm saying? So keep yeah, on. Yeah, I have some. I have some. I have to upload. So I'm telling you, I'm working on that. I'm gonna upload some new stuff on YouTube. I'm working on it. I'm just okay. getting in. I'm j I had my YouTube page for a while and then I stopped. I wasn't being as consistent. And then I'm like, you know, with COVID, COVID makes, I'm like, let me get more consistent on my YouTube page. So I'm thankful that I had it already open and I had a few subscribers, you know, that helped me out. But I don't know if I was, if I was more consistent before, I think my page would have been crazy right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to be honest with you too, you know, even when this goes out, you have no idea who's watching. Mm -hmm. Literally, you never know who's watching. So. You know, with that, like I said, when you when you when your purpose is to give value back to the world and give, you know, love back and everything like that, that's what's gonna come back. But I guess with with your content that you're posting, the, you know, singing, dancing, the energy that you're giving. I mean, even just the conversation that we we had even on a preliminary. 
thing. I told you that how upbuilding and the energy transfer was through that, and that's all I want to do. You know, also in return. So, um, I guess what what would you say you want to promote the most with your life, and what message do you want for uh, people who are watching you that you may not know are watching? What message do you want them to to, to see or to receive? Um, have faith. I think that's I I, I think have faith because. You're always gonna you're always gonna fall down. You're always gonna have your moments in life, but you have to have faith. You're always gonna be tested, and we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna be more tested as we get older, right? And yeah, less time to mess up too. Yeah, <laughs> and when you're tested, it's, it, that faith is what's gonna give you closure. That faith is what's gonna keep you your mind right because you're gonna be going through so many things in life, and if you want it, you gotta keep going for it, and you gotta maintain right. The mental state is so. It's so important, you know, to feed, make sure you're feeding your mind right. And, you know, I don't know if everyone, I'm a very spiritual person, you know, I want to get everybody, I want to get all religious with you, but um, I, I got everything in my life that I have now from being spiritual and from praying all the time. And I truly believe that. If that's not everybody's story, that's fine. You know, I don't judge anybody. But for me, I always have to have faith. I always have to pray over my family. I always have to pray over what I have because I'm grateful for it. And if we're not grateful for what we have now, you would not get the most beautiful things that are preparing you with what you have with you. You just mm -hmm. won't. You have to maintain that you're okay with having this apartment and having this, having all this. I'm fine with that. I have my family that's alive and they're okay. And as I'm showing that, I'm going to be building and preparing such a better blissful life because mm -hmm. I'm grateful for what I have. So for everyone out there, I think you have to have faith. And if you don't have faith, find something find anything I don't know what it is if it's meditation or if it's reading or whatever find something that's gonna keep you in staying like keep you sane and keep your mind right and you know keep you focused and for me that's always praying and just being faithful I don't know what works for you but find something to keep you there because you will lose yourself there's gonna be moments you're gonna lose yourself so you have to be prepared to lose yourself and be prepared to know what you're gonna do to get yourself back up because it is hard but if you know what you're gonna do when you fall? Oh, girl, you gonna be getting, you gonna be getting up so much harder. <laughs> you gonna be like, what happened? So uh -huh. I think that's important, and and I think if you focus on that when you're younger, you're gonna be, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay by the time you're 18. But if not, there's a lot of people that are like in my age or or in their 20s. A lot of people, it's average. A lot of people, they're they're going through depression. They're going through anxiety. They're going, they're going through so many things because of life, life circumstances. Yep. So for me, you have to prepare your mind for that. There's a lot of things we don't wanna uh, put in our mindset as, as because it might hurt us or put us in emotion, but it's realistic. It's realistic that we may lose people. It's realistic that we may lose our friends or lose ourselves. That's anything realistic. Anything you imagine is real. You know, when people say be realistic, anything that you can imagine is realistic. That's like somebody telling anything. the right person, you couldn't fly. Like you, you can't fly, but they thought that they could fly. And guess what? Now we got airplanes. What happens if I stop being grateful for this hand that I have? How do I put on my lipstick? How do I sing? How do I run my business? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be thankful for these fingers and these hands and these toes and everything else because I don't want it taken from me at all. I don't want to yeah. find out. I don't want to find yeah. out. <laughs> so yeah. I'm okay. So a lot of times people people let the tragedy or, or the problems happen before they do something. I'm not that type of person. Mm -hmm. I don't want to no, know. I do it before because I don't want to find out what happens yeah. if I get in that car or what happens yeah. if I lose my hand. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm going to avoid that and be thankful for that. Be thank yeah. I don't thank, thank you. Like, it's thank you. And a lot of people don't know how to say thank you. And I need you guys to please start saying thank you and you're welcome. Yeah. It's and really I, I'm going to encourage people too to thank you. Thank, be thankful for the the negative that you've been through in your life too because until you can appreciate those negative times that you have been able to come from you don't know why you are where you are or um you know you don't realize what you were prepared for or how strong you were you know me meant to be i heard um, i heard um you know cc tyson that passed away mm -hmm. So I was, I have her book right in front of me that I haven't read the whole thing. I think I, I saw you post it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I love to read. So um, one of the things she mentioned, she says, I appreciate the negative more than the positive. Mm -hmm. Because once you see how you end up when you get out of that negative, 
it's like a positive thing. You're more stronger. You're more empowered. If that negative didn't come and, and affect you, you wouldn't be who you are today. So right. you have to appreciate those negative times more than those positive because that's what's taking you to where you're going to be in the next five years that you just asked me, where you see yourself in five years? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this in, in the recent, in the recent months, especially when I have had these major, like, appreciations for negative things that have happened almost almost immediately something tremendous tremendously positive happened mm -hmm. like I literally almost immensely I, I mean agree. immediately immediately it, it's like mm -hmm. i'm just you know i'm just literally so thankful that that happened and i was able to get through it and whatever the case is that it taught me and whoever i'm whoever i am today because of it and I'm gonna say like, man, you go to sleep and the next morning you wake up, it's like, boom. Like, mm -hmm. where did this blessing come from? It's like a like miracle. So, I definitely gotta say that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, like Warren Buffett, you know, he's a the number one investor in the entire world, billionaire. Yeah, he billionaire. said the number one thing that he would want, you know, it's not something that he can pay for. He said he would want time because you can't replace time. He also wants time with his family. You know things like the things that we were talking about as far as appreciating and um you know those are the impacts that you want to make where you can't you know you can't ever get that back some things come and they go but you can't like replace, replace right you can't replace people any any material thing you can't replace that but you know people <clears throat> uh relationships um time things you cannot get back so those are the things you don't want to waste relationships relationships are so important mm -hmm. because you can get so far with the relationship it's like i can have a degree for this job but this girl has a better relationship with the director she's gonna get the job than Work. before i get it so i feel mm -hmm. like relationships are so important even if it's the janitor that's cleaning the floor you don't know mm -hmm. if he's trying to make up money to start a business and that business is what you're probably going to be applying for so mm -hmm. I'm big on relationships. I'm big on treating everyone equal because you just never know. That could be your boss. You really don't. That can be your partner, your business partner. That may be the person cleaning up for your business now. So maintain you really good relationships. Never know. Mm -hmm. Maintain good relationships to get far. That's what's gonna help you because maybe you know, just like they might call you and say, you know, because you have a good relationship. Hey, we got a show coming out. We have an audition for you because they like you. They have a good relationship mm -hmm. with you. If you're not good to work with. They don't want to work with you. You start yeah. losing all these <laughs> relationships and everything. So I think that's important. Maintain good relationships, have faith. I, th I think, um, you know, my network personally is something I, I worked on and I knew ever since I was, you know, promoting in college that network was much more, in my opinion, that, and I, I'm not even gonna say just in my opinion. Network networking has definitely been more of a blessing than, than anything that you can personally do yourself. Because, you know, one of my one of my friends also said, you know, manners will manners will carry you through the world. By you putting out that energy, no matter what it is, you think you'd be the smartest person, the richest person, anything. But if you don't have a good network or people that that uh, you've impacted positively, you don't really have nothing, and you don't know how far your network can take you mm -hmm. than anything else. And mm -hmm. I can definitely say that, you know, my life is. Uh, and has been I've been able to do so many things just because of the relationships that I've built with people and You know my network and that's part of the reason why we have Hollywood affiliate marketing because I want to bring all these different networks so that people can Be exposed to that and have opportunities that they may never have had before Right I agree because people don't realize how important that network is But that also means that you have to be positively impacting people too, right? For sure, I agree with that. For sure, you know, in any relationship is an exchange. For anyone aspiring to follow their dreams, go for it and never settle. Never. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're married, you're in a relationship, you have kids. You go for your dreams because one day, when you have these kids and these kids grow up, they want to see that mommy and daddy went for their dreams. They want to see that you did everything that you can do for yourself because that's what's going to make them strive. So mm -hmm. I think for me, it's never settle. Go shoot for them dreams. I can never tell nobody, oh, 
um, you're too old or why don't you just go work at it or why don't you just go do that? No, um, no one understands your purpose but you and no one understands the passion that you have for the thing that you love. So I feel like go for your dreams at all times, at all costs and work hard and believe in yourself. And don't worry about if you don't have support, you know, a lot of people don't have that support. Don't worry about all that. Believe in yourself because a lot of people get further when they believe in themselves and they maintain great relationships. And and I think that's important. Go for your dreams. Shoot for it. Go ahead. Even at 40. Go, girl. Go. Go. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I definitely think that you should shout out to the, to the elderly generation to let them know that just because, you know, you've reached a certain age and something hadn't happened doesn't mean that you still can't. No. Like literally, you never know, and if you believe that you can finally, then it can. So, you know, I hear a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm too old," but I mean, at the same time, everybody's always gonna have, "I'm too I'm old, I'm too skinny, I'm too fat, I'm too short, I'm too tall, I'm too this." I'm too... You can always find an excuse not you to. You know what's another? You know what's another? Uh, another excuse that a lot of people say, or where I live. Or, or no, I need to go here. Or, um, I don't have this. I don't have that. You know what that is? Excuses. Mm -hmm. I don't like excuses. So it's like, um, instead of having excuses, you need to find another way. Yeah. Have another conclusion. Have some. Have options. I don't think there's any excuse. I don't think there's no excuse to do anything because you're not even trying. You just made an excuse up before you tried. If you tried, yeah. you wouldn't have had that excuse. So no excuses. I, I've I always, no, no lie. I've always told everybody, um, you know, for me, if the front door is not open, I'm gonna go to the back door. If the back door is closed too, then I can go to the roof. But guess what? If all of it's closed, I'm gonna knock something down, or I'm gonna create my own door and bust the door, bust the wall open, or something. But if that's what I want to do, that's what I'm gonna do. So there's really no excuse to say that you can't, because there is no such thing as you can't. Literally, there's nothing that you can't. Nothing. Pay. It's like I was telling myself when I when I got back into YouTube, I was making excuses. I was like, oh my God, I don't have that much subscribers or I don't have that many views. I don't have it. But I wasn't even posting content consistency. I already made up an excuse for myself. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have that. But you didn't even try to promote and put video constantly and see what happens. Because that one video, you never know, can bring me a whole bunch of views or bring me subscribers. I wasn't even trying, but I had the excuse in my head telling myself, oh, but I don't have some. I'll just leave it alone. Cause I don't have that much subscribers. I don't, not, whatever. And it's like, a lot of people do that. We make excuses up before we even try, before we even do it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you'll never take the action that's necessary if you believe that you can anyway. Mm-hmm, exactly. And if you believe that you can, you're always gonna do something. If you believe that you can't, you're never gonna try. Imagine right. you show up at the, at, the, at the game, like, man, oh man, we playing against them, we about to lose. What effort are you gonna put in to even give yourself a chance to win? So. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's that. But I mean, I know, once again, you're a busy woman and time is precious. So I guess, you know, wrapping up, <laughs> uh, I know your time is very precious. Yes, you, probably gotta, you, just, you, got, you, got, you got some kind of other show or something. That I, you owe you, I owe you some more minutes because of what happened. <laughs> no, no, you don't, like I told you from the, from the beginning, you don't owe me anything. Oh, God. You know, just glad that we could um, we could work together and get, get everything put out there. So... You know, like I said, we'll have this video on, on both of the channels. You know, subscribe to all of the channels, uh, everybody. And be looking out for Mika to, to you know, be on your TV screen somewhere soon. If you haven't already got her on your screen. Thank you, Nick. Nick is really? so uplifting, guys. Nick is such a great person. I hope everybody knows that. Seriously. I, I'll, I'll to Nick outside of this, you know, live and great combo and just such an uplifting person, a great person. So you're gonna go far. You will go far. You know how to maintain a great relationship. You know how to have a great mindset. You keep it moving. You stay positive. You got it. Like, just go. Go, Nick, go. <laughs> go out, Nick. Nick is about to be the next Hollywood Unlocked, guys. You heard it here, right here first. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Nicole, too. I appreciate that, y'all. Look what Nicole said. Nicole said, yes, he is. You see? Yeah. My, yeah, my cheese. Like, we have to, you know what? I need ladies. We need to stop letting men always, always, you know, give us compliments. Like, let's compliment some men, too. Let's let men know what they're doing right. Let's let them know. Give them their little, go ahead, man. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously. All right. Seriously.
When you when you yeah. see a good man and you see someone who who can carry themselves well, congrats to you. You you're yeah. a leader, not a follower. I definitely appreciate it. I'm trying hard, you know. I'm trying to look for a mask or something to cover my cheeks now. <laughs> appreciate that, Nicole, too. You know, this interview wasn't even promoted, so this is the crazy part. Is but I definitely appreciate it. My my days. Yeah, gone. we just literally did this today, and I'm like, hey, let's do the interview today. And of course, if you welcome me, I'm I come back for whatever another day. If you want to chat, we can chat. Yeah about some serious stuff um to inspire people after, you want. after you get on that show we'll, we'll go ahead and do a follow-up and ask you how it is and you know maybe you can give us some insights oh my god don't even say that because you know if i get off don't blow up and just forget about us now but you know we can do a little inside scoop and say hey yet. we got mika in the group and you know we subscribe first you know the first subscribers and you know everything like that so yeah we'll we'll, we'll handle it like that way and then I guess even when the song makes number one on the charts, then we can have you back for that one too. <laughs> so I, I think that's possible. Or if, I mean, if you're ever, if we're in South Beach, we can go check out Mangoes. You know, they just yeah, open. Yeah, please. So we're, we're, we're we're supposed to be opening up next month, April twenty first. So if you in our, if you are in Miami, Florida, or in the South Beach area, next month, April twenty second, April twenty first, Mango Travel Cafe should be opening up. Please come and tell me you see me here so we can chat, say hi, whatever you like. Come see the show yeah. My um, My birthday is next month, so I don't know. Miami, anybody want to go? <laughs> Mango yeah. Trouble Cafe, come. Yeah, so, that hotel. <laughs> All right. And so you can guess- check out my personal page, I am Miko Ortiz on Instagram. That's my personal IG page. Follow me there, write me there. If you guys seen the interview, DM me so I know that you've seen this interview. Please DM me. Um, yeah. Just like we're going to Miami. Yes, Nicole, come Nicole. <laughs> Just like we're going to Miami. I was trying to go to Key West last, what was it, last year? No, the year before last year. That's and like that uh, Hurricane, I think Dorenda, Dar- Darian, something like that was going towards like Key West. Yeah, yeah, Miami, it, it, it did that. Dorian, Dorian. Dorian. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, but they ended up like curving, and I ended up going to California instead. But I'm, I mean, I've been owing Florida a trip anyway, so cool. my, I can, I can definitely try to make that happen. Uh, all right, so I guess wrapping up. Do you have any closing words or anything that you want to leave, leave the group with, or the audience, or the YouTube subscribers of the future, or all these people that you know, all the young women and, and, and men and everybody out there that's gonna see this. You know, before you hit the show and before the, the, you know you're on the charts and all that, they go back and they're like, "Oh, look at this! Mika had this interview with this old, you know, little dude just sitting in in, in a room." <laughs> um, can you believe she said this? And now look at her. Oh God. Um. I just. This. Don't let anyone change your character. I know a lot of the times people can be toxic, people can be negative, and it can affect you. But you're being tested again. Make sure you stay in character, make sure you stay positive, and make sure you're true to who you are, and no one, no one affects that. You have to be at peace within yourself. And honestly, it just spreads out to everybody else there. They're like, who is this person? Like, you're either light, you're either the light or you're dark. You're not in between. So you're either going to be a light for everybody else or you're just going to be toxic and be darkness for everybody that you come across. So you have to pick. So if you're going to be a light, be a light and inspire others and, and carry that within yourself. Just be, just carry that peace with you. So when people meet you, they just feel more comforting and feel, feel at ease. You know, life is hard. Life is stressful. So don't, we don't need people coming around us and making it harder than what it is. You know what I mean? So come Come to me with the right energy. Come to me correct. I'm going to give you, I'm going to attract what I gave off. And if you don't come to me the way I, I come to you, I can't let that affect my character. I got to keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? I have to, I can't keep it moving. I can't lower my standards to anyone, you know, man or yeah. man. Um, and a lot of the times, people tend to mess with our character because they're beneath us. They're lower than us. Um, they're, they're just not like us they're not spiritual people they're not loving people um so you just can't 
mess with that. You have to block all that out and maintain who you are and just stay true who you are. That's it. And and no one can take that from you. Like I said, you either light or you dark. No in between. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I definitely think, and I, I said this back towards the beginning of the pandemic that you know the amount of negativity that was already in the world was already bad. But during the pandemic, there was so much other things that started happening and started coming to light, but they were all negative. And I think that, you know, just going through life every single day, it's an active thing to, to be positive. So if you think about the world and how it is, if you're flowing down a stream, the stream is always going in this direction and it's going to pull you with it. So mm -hmm. if, it's, if the world is going in a negative direction and you were to just even do nothing and just go with the flow, you're going to go negative because that's what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. You have to put in some extra effort to swim against that current and that's the way that you have to be positive because you're always going to have, you know, the negative in front of you. It, it's up to you to to continue to to swim and, you know, go the other direction because if not, it's, the other direction, just, right. it's too easy to go that way. But the and, people who go up, you know, you're going against gravity. You got to put in some kind of effort to go up. And it's hard when you see everybody and it's hard when you see everybody doing the opposite. You see everybody mm -hmm. swimming this way. Sometimes you're like, I don't want to swim this way because why everybody's not swimming this way? Like, I see the light yeah. over here. Then they're going over there. You yeah. really have to believe that the light is this way and say the hell with them people. They're going that way. I'm going to just go this way. You yeah. end up to that light and they be like, oh, we went the wrong way. Now they're ending up trying to swim to the way you went. But they, you say went they say you know it's lonely I mean? at the top. They say it's lonely at the top, but you know, everybody's not, everybody's not going to put in the effort. Everybody's mm -hmm. not going to do the extra. And if you wait on everybody else to do um, what you want to do or reach your goal, for instance, you want to go to the gym, you want to lose weight. If you're waiting on your gym partner and your gym partner is like, ah, not today, or whatever the case is, you, you're never going to reach your goal because you're waiting on somebody else. So like you said, stay true to yourself, do what you got to do uh, for yourself. And at that, at the end of the day, you will be <laughs> instead of just feeling like you're held back. But you're not really held back because you're only holding yourself back by not, I mean, by allowing somebody else to, um, I guess, control your, your reality. That's right. And no one can control your reality but you. So I, I just want to say I 100% appreciate you coming on today. Um, you know, this appreciate is you, man. Thank you. No, no more, spe no, no special treatment out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> no, so, you no, she, no special treatment. Like, hey, let's, let's get it today. So I was like, hey, you know what? We can do that. And we got on here, killed it, crushed it. It was a wonderful conversation as always. You keep your head up and try to keep 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 on keeping mine up and uh, support each other to the top. If there's anything that I or anybody else in the group can do. You know, we all do it for, for each other. So uh, thank Likewise. you again. For Likewise. And everybody subscribe to Mika O on YouTube. Uh, you know, check and out we, Burn. And if we can, um, mm -hmm. if we can, one of these days, I would love to just do a video or a chat on mental health or depression or people who, you know, people who can just sit here and be inspired. So if any of you who are watching this video agree, please let Nick know. So we can come back and I can share some books that I think that you can read. I can share some meditation. I'm not good on meditation. I'm trying to get back into meditation, but we can share that. We can share oh, things yeah. that help you cope. We can share things that help you through through everything, especially people that are trying to grow a business. I, I meditate to be honest with you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very big on, on that uh, affirmations, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, just trying to make things work. So definitely uh, I'm, I, if, if somebody's trying to do the mental health thing or, um, you know, whatever the case is that, that has to deal with your energy and trying to move forward and, and make progress and just be in the right mind, uh, I definitely am I'm down for that. I'm down for it. So I can share I can share a lot of the stuff that I've used also because you know you look at you look at like you say you look at people you never have you never have any idea what they're going through or what it took to get to wherever. Um, you know wherever they're at so you have no idea you have no idea so you know you can think somebody's doing great and i'm sure doing. it's like you I, we don't know your story and we don't know your struggles and your ups and downs that you go through for this show but i'm sure you go through something because it ain't easy everybody would have this show if it was easy right everybody <laughs> yeah. would have a show on youtube <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and like I said, this is just another extension to try to, you know, help the world too. So, I mean, y'all subscribe to my channel that I care the most about. Well, I'm not going to say that. 
because I do care a lot about this because it's it's helping people. And but I don't subscribe to that no more. That you don't care. I know. I know. I care. I definitely care. So y'all also subscribe to Hollywood Life though, and that's where you can actually see you know me in the, in the flesh, not just sitting in the, you know interviewing anybody, but you can actually see some kind of life stuff that's going on, and um you know I guess kind of see what I'm doing. So, yeah, you know, once again, subscribe to Mika O. Check out the, the the channels. I mean the uh, the songs. Go look at Mulatto's collection on Instagram. And Go website. to the website. Yeah. And Hollywood promo 21 code, is the promo code for 25% off the entire site until tomorrow is Hollywood 21. And I will be writing a personal note as well to you guys because I appreciate you for watching, I appreciate you for supporting, and I appreciate you for commenting. I'm grateful for that. So I will be doing that. Too. I may throw something else into because I'm feeling good I'm trying to overcome my emotional week. Cause it's nah. been a hell of a week, guys. One hell of a week that I may talk about it on my channel one day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. I got a little insight, but we gonna we just we gonna keep it right here. We gonna keep it G, and we don't we don't gotta put it out there yet. But yeah, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and end it now. Migo, stay on because uh, we're gonna have to do that thing real quick. But everybody else, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you, Nicole, especially all of your thank feedback. You guys. Thank you very much for anybody that's going to be watching in the future that we don't know yet. And, you know, leave a comment, subscribe, share the video, go to the website, support. Love y'all.